The other people who are not forgiven on this night are Al-Aqulivalidayhi A person who abuses and insults his parents Who disobeys his parents Who never listens to his parents Who smacks them, swears at them, abuses them, insults them He never pays them any attention This person is also not forgiven Kullu dhunub yaghfiru Allahu minha ma yasha Every sin, Allah forgives, forgives, forgives. Except for Uqoqul Walidain. Because the saza and punishment of Uqoqul Walidain is paid in this dunya before the person dies. If you hurt your parents, then you will have to suffer from your children. May Allah forbid us and Allah protect us. So value and cherish your parents. Do their khidmat. As much as you can, this is good for you. You won't be doing same here as well. You won't be doing them any favor. You will be doing favor to yourself by doing khidmat of your parents. And another person who is not forgiven is Qati'u Rahimi. A person who cuts off his ties with his family members. Meaning other relations besides his parents, his grandparents, his khala, his pupi, his uncle, his auntie, his chacha. He cuts off his brother, his sister. They are not on speaking terms. And they both change their ways when they look at one another. So this type of severing ties with the relations, this is something which Allah does not like. These are the wa'id mentioned for qata rahmi and for cutting off your ties with your relations. Nabiya Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting among the Sahaba Ridwanullahi alayhi wa jma'in and he said La tanzilu rahmatu ala qawmin fihim qati'u rahimin Allah's rahma is blocked from a people, a group of people among whom is a single person who is cutting off his ties with his relations Jis qawm mein ek aadmi bhi aisa baitha ho ke jis ne apne taalluqat tode ho تو وہ ایک آدمی ان سب لوگوں اللہ کی رحمت سے محروم رکھتا ہے حضور نے جب یہ ارشاد فرمایا ایک آدمی کھڑا ہوا تھوڑی دیر کے لئے گیا واپس آیا ون صحابی استود اپ ایون آؤٹ سائیڈ ہی کھیم باک آفٹر وائی رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آسٹ ہیم او بھائی وات ہاپن ویڈی ڈیو گو اور ہی سید ویل یا رسول اللہ ای ہاب ایک خالہ ایک انتی مٹرنل انت اور I was not on speaking terms with her. We had an argument, a fight, and you know, I, I stopped talking to her for some time. But when you said this, I thought to myself that just because of me, everybody will be deprived from, of Allah's rahmah and mercy. So why should I not go and uh, make amends with my khala? So I went to her and I asked, I said, sorry, I apologize. I asked for forgiveness. And she wouldn't, she was really angry with me. I held on to her feet, I pressed her feet, I said, please Khala, please Khala, forgive me. Please Khala, I won't hurt you again. And somehow she became happy and she forgave me. And Alhamdulillah, she started smiling. And now I have come. Rasulullah Sallallahu said, yes, once again, if there is one single person among the community who is cutting off his ties with his relations, then he will stop Allah's Rahmah from all of those who are sitting in that gathering. So my dear brothers, if you are not on speaking terms with any of your family members, make an intention over here that inshallah as soon as you go from here, you will make amends and you will make them happy. You will make your parents happy. You will make your family members happy and you will be on speaking terms with them and you will apologize and say sorry to all of them and make amends. Then inshallah Allah's rahmah will descend upon you. Sayyiduna Musa ala nabiyyina wa This is just to explain that upon the intention, Allah forgives as well. Sayyiduna Musa ala nabiyyina wa alayhi salam story comes to mind. When Sayyiduna Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, once, he, in, during his time there was a drought. And when there is drought and famine, you have to go out in an open area, make dua, Allah showers his mercy. So Musa alayhi salam went with Bani Israel, he made dua, 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 but there is no rain, no clouds, sky is blue, blue, blue. No water, no rain, no clouds. So Musa alayhi salam, dua, 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 and then he said, oh Allah, میرا درجہ تیری نظر میں اتنا گر گیا کہ اتنی دیر سے میں دعا مانگ رہا ہوں پھر بھی یہ دعا قبول نہیں ہو رہی ہے ہوا ہی بکم سو لو ان یور آئیز 
that I have been asking and begging for so long and still your Rahmah is not coming, no rain water is coming. And Allah said, Oh Musa, no, 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 that's not the case. Your status in my eyes is as the same as it was before. But there is another problem. Among that congregation who have come with you to make dua, there is a person who's always disobeyed me, who has never ever obeyed, he has never listened to any a single command of mine. He's always been disobeying and sinning. And because of him, the rain is stopped. As long as he is there, the rain won't come. So you stand up and make an announcement that so and so person who himself knows that he's never prayed namaz, he's never given zakat, he's never kept roza, he's never done any good, he's never done any zikr, he's never remembered Allah, he's always disobeyed Allah. That person in this congregation should get up and go away from here so that Allah's rahmah and mercy can come. Now that person realized who he is. He knew that this Musa is talking about me. So he covered himself in his shawl and his shirt and he started crying, Oh Allah, please forgive me, Oh Allah, please forgive me, Oh Allah, please forgive me. Oh Allah, please don't shame me in front of everyone. So Musa is standing there and making that announcement. By Uthona, Kwan Admi hai, Kisne Hamesha Puri Zindagi Allah ki nafarmani ki hai, Niklo yaan se, Uski wajah se rehmat ki barish nahi aarahi hai. Nobody is getting up. Announcement after announcement. And suddenly the clouds start to come. So Musa salam said, Oh Allah, nobody stood up yet. And how come the clouds are coming? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Oh Musa, that person, because of whom that rain was stopped, it is because of that same person that that rain is coming. Because he has made tawbah and he has repented and he is crying. I've seen his tears. And I have seen his sincerity of repentance. I have forgiven all his sins. And he is now a friend of mine. He is a wali and friend of mine. And because of him, I am sending that rain. Jis ki wajah se ab tak barish ruki hui thi, usne tawbah kar li, maine uski tawbah kabool kar li, usko maaf kar diya, ab usi ki barakat se barish a rahi hai. Musa alayhi salam said, Oh Allah, show me that person. Who is he? I want to see him as well. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, No Musa, I won't tell you who he is. He used to disobey me and I used to hide him. Now he has become obedient to me. How am I going to reveal him? I am not a chugal khor. I am not a tale teller. I won't tell you who he is. It's between me and my servant. My dear brothers, this is the value of repentance. You repent in your heart, Allah will forgive you immediately now, immediately over here. Allah will forgive you.